Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how I customize my daughter's Minnie Mouse shoes. It didn't take a super long time, but I did split it up between two days because I stopped to go do something. But I could have got it done within, you know, maybe an hour or so. It was really not that long and they came out super cute. So stay tuned. Okay, so right here I'm putting acetone on the toe of the shoe. It will help the E6000 glue stick better. Now I'm putting the laces into the shoes. Normally I will put the laces later after I um, painted the shoes, but I was doing this for my, for my daughter, so, you know, it was fine. Okay, so now I am applying the E6000 glue just onto the toe of the shoe. I honestly recommend getting E6000 plus glue. I bought it once from um, Hobby Lobby in the size. It was about 1.9 ounces, about the same size as the one you see right there on the table. But my Hobby Lobby has not been selling it again ever since I bought that back in May. So I cannot find it there and... I just have not ordered on online because this one is just much easier to get. But I recommend E6000 Plus because it does not have a smell. The E6000 right here has a very chemical smell to it and I hate it. And it's very strong. And um, the E6000, and it also, it dries very, very fast. The E6000 Plus dries very slow, which used to be irritating. But honestly, I would rather it dry slow than fast because, you know, if you need to adjust anything, you can go ahead and do that. Now that I've got the design that I wanted, I am um, using my Cricut Maker to cut it out. Now I have everything weeded out that I want to have weeded out and I'm going to use my iron and apply the heat transfer vinyl onto the shoe. So since I have forgot to show you this part, I had mixed in some Mod Podge, Mod Podge and some pink glitter together, and then I'm going to just paint that onto the shoe. Now, like I said, these are for my daughter, so I only did one coat, but normally I would do two coats and it would show up a lot better. Okay, so right here I am just ironing on the Minnie Mouse decal onto the shoe, onto the toe of the shoe, and honestly these came out really nice. So the instructions tell you to iron on both sides. So you do the first side, which is on the front, and then you iron the back side for a couple of seconds as well.
Okay, so now I am taking the makeshift aglets that I bought and I am cutting them off and sizing them to where I want them to be on the ribbon laces and I am heating them up with my lighter because it makes it smaller so it makes it tighter around the uh, ribbon laces. Okay, so now I am taking these cute little bows that I got off of Amazon and I am using that same E6000 glue to place them onto the back of the shoe. Okay, so now I'm using that same E6000 glue and I'm putting my little white half pearls onto the bow to make it have a little polka dot effect to it. We have the final product the very cute Minnie Mouse themed Converse thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe